Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Um, this is Loki review of episode three. I know I missed the first two, but that's just because I've not been able to do this for a while, and I'm kind of had difficulties trying to do this, especially after I had COVID and trying to get back into the swing of things. But anyways. Because I missed the first two episodes, I'm going to rank them two as well. I'm not going to go through what happened in them, but I'm just going to rank them. So, the first episode, I would give a solid 8. Episode 2, I'll give it 8.5. Now, um, episode 3, where we can deep dive into everything that's going on. So, Loki and Lady Loki start fighting. Um, go through the portals, I can't remember what they're called. If any of you can comment, comments, greatly appreciate it. But they keep fighting, then they eventually land on Lamentis 1. Which, because in episode 2, uh, Loki found out that Lady Loki just hides in the different apocalypses. We can see that she has set the teleportations to go to the apocalypses. So, we can see that Loki was correct in the fact that she's hiding in the apocalypses. So, Lamentis 1 is an apocalypse because the moon is going to crash into the planet and everyone is going to die. Now, they're trying to find a way to get a power surge big enough to recharge their portal device. And... They try and find a way from uh, the Ark, there's a train that leads to the Ark, which will go up into space and save the people, but there's some contrast to Titanic here because there are like the rich on the train and stuff like that. Uh, Loki, Lake Lo uh, Loki and Lady Loki uh, still fighting, arguing until they realise they'd go to train to kind of get the power surge. But first up, they see a little hut with a massive power source. Now, Lady Loki, or as she likes to call, call herself now, Sylvia, kicks the door down, and then she gets, <coughs> shoots her, and she goes flying. Loki then tries to act like one of the people in the photo that you can see through the window. But without realising that she doesn't actually... Well, she actually knows a lot about him because... She realises that he doesn't talk like that and... Yeah. Anyway, it's the only... After that, the other power surge big enough to recharge it... Is the train that leads to the Ark. And when they get on the train, Loki acts like a guard... Hauling Sylvia onto a train. And they eventually get on when Loki lose. Uh, Loki uses some enhancement magic that his mother taught him. They got on the train and start having a personal talk. We find out that Loki is bisexual, so I think that's a big accomplishment. I think Loki is like the first openly non-straight character in the MCU. So I mean, fair play to the lad. Um, we find out that Sylvia taught herself her magic. Uh, we find out Loki was taught by his mother and he knows he's adopted. But his parents didn't tell him, so I'm assuming Thor told him. Because it's Thor. So, um, I think after that, they want to try and get some rest. Uh, but full of conversation, actually, a little funny thing. Something that we that most people actually don't like. Loki don't like to say it backwards when riding on a train. Um, some people do that, I know that. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I don't mind it. So, Sylvia gets some sleep, she wakes up to Loki singing and dancing because he's drunk. I won't say drunk, I think he's just having a good time and letting loose, but he's re- shaped himself back into his TVA clothes and 
he starts singing in Asgardian. I uh, think it was a lullaby that his mum sung him. I'm presuming so. Um, yeah, they're having a good time, but then one of the people point out to Loki who he is. And then they have a fight. Loki gets kicked out of the train through a window. So Sylvia chases after him because that's it, the fucking tempad. Right, so she chases after Loki because she needs the tempad to get back to uh, the timekeepers because she now knows where they are. Little did I know that when Loki tumbles out of the train, the tempad breaks. So when Loki magics the tempad back, because earlier in the episode, he made it disappear with magic, it's broken. So, the only solution they have is to go to the Ark and escape the planet. And then find a power source big enough to charge it or to repair it. So, they walk to the Ark. Um, Loki asks Sylvia how she does her magic and she literally grasps the mind of the person, look for their memories and reenact it. But said she's in it and she does her manip manipulation tactics. So they get to the Ark. The Ark is about five minutes away from boarding. They go through some zigzag shit. They try they try and find a quicker course to it because the main course to the Ark has been blocked up by shit to the guards. When they try and get into it, they can't because there is still some guards in the other directions that they're going. So they try and chase Loki and Sylvia but they fight them off. And just as they reach the gate to climb over to the Ark, the Ark is destroyed. And then it ends on Loki, like this, in disbelief, looking at the Ark, exploded and destroyed. But now the question is, how are they going to get off the planet? Which I have a theory about that. I feel like Mobius will somehow get there with his tempad and bring them both back in. And then Loki will try, well, Sylvia won't care, she'll just try and kill him. Loki will just try and say that he'll try to chase after her and stuff like that. But, yeah. Um, overall, this episode, give it an 8.7. It really took a deep dive into what Loki and Lady Loki are doing. Um, Lady Loki more so, because we didn't really know a lot about her. And yeah, I feel like episode 4, I really cannot wait for. And it's going to be a blast. And I know that for the rest of the series is going to be amazing. But, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, I want to thank you all for watching today's video. My Bad Batch Episode 9 review will be out Monday, actually, because of Sunday we've got Survivor Series. But, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and peace.